This is Doug Ostfee with NRL Consulting Partners. In this presentation, we'll be taking a look at what's new in HFM with release 124. In looking at the entire Oracle EPM suite, HFM received the biggest overhaul in comparison to the other products. HFM now boasts an independent platform, simplified architecture, improved performance, and some new functionality was also delivered with this release. Release 124 is certified on the Linux platform, but only for XLytx, in addition to Windows platforms. For those not familiar with the XLytx box, it's the equivalent of about five to six traditional physical boxes. In re-engineering HFM to be able to run on Linux, Oracle has reduced the reliance on some of the Windows technologies, such as IIS and DCOM, and some of the components have been ported to a Java API. And we'll look at some of these in detail in the next couple of slides. In order for HFM to work on a Linux platform, the configuration or the installation architecture had to be re-engineered, and the result was a more simplified blueprint. Here, looking at the traditional architecture for a 1 to 1 installation, we can still see the IIS layer, the DCOM dependencies, a heavier footprint, and more executables. Now, viewing the simplified architecture for the 1 to 4 release, we see the removal of the IIS and the DCOM dependencies, a lighter overall footprint, and less required executables. Here, we can see the number of executables required for a 1 to 2 installation versus a 1 to 4. Also here noting the porting of some of the technologies to Java base. Also noting here the porting of some of the communications from Oracle based technologies to Java based. Here we have a side by side comparison of a 121 configuration versus a 124. The newly engineered configuration results in 45% less number of total files required, a reduction of 88% in the libraries, a reduction of 94% of total installed files and a 46% reduction in build time. As a result, the product performs much better. We'll note some of the re-engineering features here. First, the CPU limitation of eight has been lifted. So now we have true multi-core scaling. All available cores will be utilized. The data retrieval engines were also optimized, resulting in better retrieval times for FR reports, smart view, and web retrievals. There is redesign for calc status. Now only used currencies are stored, reducing unnecessary storage of numbers and improving the overall metadata and data load times. Web services was replaced with Thrift, which optimizes the communication between uncommon languages. HFM uses an internal memory manager called SmartHeat that now runs faster, resulting in reduced thrashing. ADO has been replaced with the ODBC driver, resulting in improved performance with Oracle's relational databases. The culmination of the engineering improvements results in improvements of two to three times most of the tasks performed by the admins and the end user experience. Here we're noting some of the results posted by some of the early adapters working with Oracle installing 124. In HFM, success is usually measured by consolidation time. And in these three examples here, we decrease in consolidation time on a apples to apples application. So for each of these examples, it was a simple lift and shift migration. There was no change in the metadata. There was no change in the business rules. In example one, the company noticed a reduction in consolidation time from 120 minutes down to six minutes. In example two, the client reduced the consolidation time from 53 minutes down to 21 minutes. In the third example, consolidation time decreased from 40 minutes to five minutes. Here we'll move the discussion on to some of the new features offered with 124. 124 now supports IE11, but also now that support for IE8 has been dropped. With 124, you now have the option to select multiple files to load at a single time. For the end user working in the workspace, if multiple tabs are open, you can now reorder and move those tabs about. If you're upgrading to a new release from an existing release, you can use the metadata merge utility to merge your existing metadata files with the files in the latest version. SmartView now supports the color scheme on form exports. And lastly here, for those applications created in classic mode, the profile editor has been moved from the client to the web. Here I want to discuss some of the new features and some of the satellite products, not directly to HFM, but some of the products that work closely with HFM. For example, FR now has new text functions to retrieve information and attachments for financial reports. Windows restrictions have been lifted for the server install 
for the FR server install. From HFM, you can now seamlessly access OFMA and work with financial management dashboards. And FCM has a new module, the Supplemental Data Manager. Supplemental Data Manager allows you to collect, organize, update, and edit supplemental data. This module is also integrated with HFM. With the 124 release, there's some changes we need to note, especially for the admins, specifically related to some of the utilities. The HFM Copy App utility has been replaced by the HFM Artifact Snapshot in LCM. The Application Backup utility has also been replaced by functionality in LCM. The Windows-based HFM AirLog Viewer replaced with ODL and is now accessed through the workspace. And last to note here, the configuration settings are no longer set in the Windows System Registry. They're now accessed through the web. In summary, we took a quick glimpse about some of the buzz around release 124 for HFM, noting the independent platform, the streamlined architecture, the significantly and most importantly improved performance, and some of the new functionality offerings. In closing, HFM 124 will offer improved performance to every application. Each application has dependencies that will give different results. In Oracle Test Labs and from other independent lab results, we are seeing increased performance of two to five times versus prior 11.1 releases. And again, noting that this is with a lift and shift approach where no changes have been made to the application. It's simply a move of the existing application from an 11.1 to 11.124 environment.